Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Connecting New Features webinar. Thank you so much for joining today. We're super excited to have you. Thank you for your patience. We just wanted to let people join. So my name is Aviv and I'm a customer success manager here at Connecting. Now, what we're going to do today, as it sounds, we're going to cover some of the new uh, features and capabilities. I'll show you how they work, uh, basically. And it's important to say that they, uh, 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 the relevant plan varies. So please make sure to check if the relevant features are on your plan or not. You also can, of course, check that on our pricing page. OK. So the first feature I want to talk about today was very much uh, highly anticipated, and we call it the pay rates feature. So the pay rates feature, as it sounds, will let you add a basic wage for each employee, salaried employees or hourly employees, and you'll be able to see those wages in the time clock and the anticipated amount that you're going to pay to those specific employees within your payroll cycle. So the first step to activate the pay rates feature would be to go to your general account settings. This is not the time clock settings, but the entire account settings right here at the top right. You can see my name and I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on settings. These are my general settings all the way on the bottom left here. I can see the pay rate settings and this is where I can first of all enable the feature choose your relevant currency, of course, to make everything as convenient as possible for you guys. And of course, also add admin permissions. Every owner will be automatically added to the feature with the capabilities to view and edit it. And uh, every other admin that you choose to add, uh, uh, it's possible, of course, and you can choose if you want them to view only the pay rates or view and edit them all according to your choice. So far regarding the general settings of the accounts. Now, the next step would be to actually add a wage to every user. So I'm going to go to the to my users tab right here on the left side. And I'm going to click on a specific user, let's say Maria here. You'll notice right now I'm in the specific user profile. You'll notice I'm in the payroll tab. That's a new tab for the pay rates capability. I can click on set pay rates right here. And this is how I can set the pay rate. First of all, I can choose whether they are hourly or salaried employees right here. And then I can choose the relevant wage, let's say 50 US dollars an hour. And then I can choose the effective date. It's that simple. Then click on update wage. And then there you go. Every time you go to this specific user, you'll be able to see their uh, uh, relevant pay rate according to what you set. Now, so far with the uh, uh, settings and how to set it up. Now, let's see how you can actually use it. I'm going to go to my time clock feature. So I'm going to go to my left sidebar right here and scroll down to my time clock feature. Access the relevant one. And I'm going to go to the time. Uh, basically, what we have here, I can go to the timesheets tab. And you can see I can see the pay rates here. But the first step I would recommend to do is actually go to the settings. The time clock setting this time, please note, not the account settings. And the first tab I see is the general tab. And if you scroll all the way down here, you have the, the period settings within the, time, within the time clock itself. Why? Because you can activate the periods feature for the platform, but you can still choose whether you want to see it in the time clock feature or not. That's the difference between the settings. So here, first of all, I have the access to the company settings that I showed you before, the general settings. And I can choose who can see the uh, periods within the time clock itself, qualified admins or users too. Once you're done with that, just click on Save Changes and you're ready to go. Now we're back in, I, in our Timesheets tab. So I can see on the top right here the expected uh, 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 wage I need to pay to all my employees who paid in this specific payroll cycle. I can change the payroll cycle to here, for example, to the previous one for a full month. And you can see it's a higher pay rate right here. And of course, if I'll access a specific employee, then I can see their specific wage right here on the top right too. Now, please note that you also have the payers within your timesheets reports. And regarding the future, what we're working on right now is actually adding a pay rate for every job. So you can have a different pay rate for different jobs. Obviously, you want to release it as soon as possible, but it's still a work in progress. But that's what's going to come up in the future. OK, I'm going to continue moving forward to our next capability. And that is, uh, which is called sub jobs. It's important to note, I'm gonna start with the time clock, but the sub jobs is a capability that is relevant to the time clock and the job scheduler. 
both of the features. I'm going to start with the time clock and then I'm going to move on to the job schedule. So what are sub jobs? So as you know, jobs and connecting can be whatever you want to track time for. It could be as simple as the position that uh, a certain employee works. If you're a construction company, for example, a builder, uh, uh, um, someone that does carpeting, that can be the job, but it can also be a name of a client, a name of a project, a name of a construction site, security location, whatever you guys wanted. So now with the sub job, basically the jobs became parent jobs and within each job, you can now add the sub jobs as you can, as you can see here. So that means that you can now time track in a much more efficient way, the actual jobs that you do uh, for big project, complex projects. For example, if I want to uh, time track a specific client as a construction company, let's call him Smith. And I also want to understand how, how much time I'm spending on each different job, for example, roofing, carpeting, and so on. So that exactly is the use for sub jobs. Let's see how this works. I'm going to go to my time clock settings right here at the top. And then I'm going to go to the jobs right here on the left side. And here I'm going to click on add job. And on the top part, you can see the, uh, uh, the uh, good old uh, job model that you know. But now we also have the sub jobs right here on the bottom. Let's see how it looks when you actually added sub jobs. So again, with the construction example, I'm going to click on settings right here for this job. And I decided, like I mentioned before, that I want to time track this specific site or client to understand how much time I'm spending on him and also understand exactly how many hours I'm investing on each, each type of job I do within the project. So I've created the relevant sub jobs, roofing, carpeting, and drilling, for example. Another example could be, let's say, a cleaning company. So the job is, let's say, one specific building or a name of a client. And then just for uh, the sake of the example, I added four sub jobs, which are different floors. So I can understand exactly how much people, you'll see that in the job scheduler too, I'm sending to each of those floors, uh, allocating my staff in a better way. And again, time tracking in a much more accurate way. Now I'm going to go back from the settings. Now we've talked about the Today tab. So now you can see everybody who clocks in, you'll see which job they clocked into and which sub job they clocked into. Also, if I'll move to the Timesheets tab and I'll click on a specific employee, the time card will open up. And here I can see within the specific time card, which job that employee worked on and sub job. And as always, it's all editable for you. So you can change it as you like and as you need. I'm gonna go back. And I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the job insights. To those of you who don't know, job insights is a great way to understand how you're allocating your resources, meaning how much time you're spending on each job. That was what we had so far. Now you can also understand how much time you spend on each job and sub job. So if I have this, again, construction uh, 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 job that I worked on a specific site, if I click right here on the right side, I get the breakdown of the hours, how many hours in this specific uh, uh, payroll cycle I actually worked on each sub job. If I'll click on the job itself, I get a further breakdown of the job right now I'm viewing by job. You can see that on the top left side. I have the job here on the left side and I have all the sub jobs here. So I get a further breakdown of all the users who worked on each sub job, their total amount of shifts and hours. If I'll change the view on the left side, to users, then I'll also be able to now see by user which job they worked on, which sub job they worked on, and the a total number of shifts and hours. Everything here is exportable, so it's also great for invoicing, and now it's much more accurate than it used to be. Now, before we, we finish with the sub jobs, I just wanna show you the employee's perspective too. So I'm gonna move to my phone. You can see it right here. And this is from the employee's perspective. So first of all, I'm going to uh, access my time clock right here to the relevant one. And now when your employees clock in, as mentioned before, they can clock into the sub job too, like you can see right here. That is regarding to the time clock. I'm going to go back and I want to show you also the mobile view of the job scheduler. So I'm going to go to my job scheduler right here. Again, all from the employee's perspective. And I can see the shift that my manager actually uh, 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 dispatched to me. 
and I can click on it. And as always, you have all the information inside, but now again, it's more accurate because I have the sub job included it within it too. So I also know which project I'm working on and which actual job I'm expected to do in these specific hours. Okay, I'm moving on to the next feature. It's also relevant to the time clock right here. So the next feature is the uh, 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 custom export, or as we call it, uh, 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 um, report uh, export templates that you can create. Um, now, you know, every time you want to conduct payroll with Connect Team, you have to go to the time clock and then to the timesheets tab right here on the right side. Once you're done conducting all the uh, checking that you need for the hours and the time cards and so on, all you had to do is hover here to the top right and click on export. Now you could choose your relevant reports. Now, if you scroll down here, you can actually see that now you can create your own custom report to make it adjustable, customize it to your business, to your needs, so you can streamline the payroll process with Connecting Now. And the beautiful thing about it is that you can now save it as a template and easily use it whenever you want. Let's see how that works. You can see, for example, I've, I've saved two templates here uh, uh, beforehand. So if I click on one of those, I'm going to get my own custom export. So I'm going to click on Create New Template to show you how this works fully. And you can see that the first step is to choose timesheets report or the shift report. I'm going to go with timesheets just for the sake of the example. And now the custom report opens up, the custom uh, report uh, export modal, sorry. And first of all, you have the report preview to understand you're doing a convenient and beautiful job, how it's going to look like for all the cha changes that you can make. On the left side, the first option is to give it a name, for example, the best uh, uh, report ever, for example. And now I have all these capabilities and options to customize it. I can add different columns. I can toggle or untoggle specific columns to make them disappear if I don't want them within the report. I can change the order. And you can change it back, of course. And I can customize each column, as you can see here, all according to the relevant information in the column itself. And if I scroll down, I actually have the general options of this custom uh, export or report. Then again, you can choose how you want to customize it, the file type, and so on. Now, again, where the magic happens is that you can save it as a template and use it whenever you want. And you can also just use it once by clicking export. So it's, again, a highly customizable option. It's very simple, yet very, very powerful. Again, I'm going to give you a few moments to ask questions before I move on to the next feature. Now, the next feature is actually the next capability, I should say, is uh, has to do with our quick tasks feature. For those of you who don't know, the quick tasks feature within the operations hub is the feature that allows you to create one-off tasks, communicate with your employees about them easily, of course, and also monitor their progress when it's done, the due date, and so on. Now we've added a capability that you can easily create these tasks across the platform. This is relevant to many features, for example, forms, courses, and now I'm going to show you how to do it through the time clock for again, for the sake of the example. So I'm in my today tab right here, and I can mark my employees on the left side, some of them or all of them. If I'll hover to the actions button right here at the top, I can click on it and then all the way at the bottom, I can actually create a task for all the selected users. I'm gonna click on it and you'll see that the quick task, the new task model would open up. This used to exi exist only in the quick tasks feature. Okay, and if you'll notice, it's now assigned to all the users that I've actually chose through the time clock. So it's a big, big, big time saver and it can streamline the way you operate within the platform. You don't have to go to the quick tasks feature. It's all through the feature you're in right now. So another thing that we've added to the quick tasks, if you'll notice, is the location bar. So now I can add a location to a specific, um, to a specific task, just like so. And then your employees will be able to click on that location, which will uh, open up the location in their Maps apps. So uh, for example, if they're making a delivery, they need to know the address, that would be a perfect solution. If they don't know the way to the new construction site, to the new, to the new client, or to where they need to go and clean today, this is a great way to go. OK. So far with the Operations Hub, thank you so much for listening. I'm now going to move forward to the Communications Hub. 
The first feature I'm going to start with is the chat feature, as you can see here. Before I talk about the desktop, the dashboard itself, I'm, I'm going to move back to my uh, phone, as you can see here. And I'm going to go to my chat right here. So what we've done, we've added capabilities that will help you with the uh, chat operations. It's a bit more powerful now. We've also added some features that are concerned engagement. So you'll be able to see that the chat basically is now more efficient and much more engaging. So I'm going to go to this team chat I've created uh, beforehand. Now you can see that the first thing that we've added here is actual, actual reactions. Every colleague employee can now react to a specific message or comment that was made on a chat. All they have to do is click on that specific comment, and then they'll be able to add a reaction, as you can see here. That's the first uh, capability here. Uh, uh, some more capabilities now. First of all, we can now reply to a specific message within a conversation. We can now forward that message within the platform. So that takes us to the level of the top tier app uh, 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 chat apps out there. And of course, we can now share messages or files or media from the company, from the chat itself, outside the platform. So I'm going to click on that right now. And you'll see that the options open up right here. So I can now send it through the other uh, uh, um, uh, apps on my computer, mail, messages, and so on. Now, of course, we understand that this can be a bit sensitive because maybe you don't want to, your employees to share company information outside the uh, 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 company. So now I'm going to show you what we did in the desktop. I went back to my platform here. So what we've done, we give you the tools to control the sharing. So I'm going to go to my chat options here. I'm going to click on settings. And then all the way here at the bottom, you can see our new settings. You can actually control whether your employees can or cannot share messages, files, and so on outside of the platform with just one click. It's that easy. One last thing. Now, if I'll go to a specific conversation, I have the three dots next to it right here. I can click on the three dots and I can mark a conversation as unread. Now you're going to have the blue dot in that conversation. So it's a nice reminder that you need to cover what was written there and as you probably use in other uh, 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 chat uh, features that you use. And of course, I can also mark a conversation as read. All, again, more efficient to streamline your day-to-day -day operations within the chat and to make communications uh, easier within the company. Great. So the second, I'm going to move on to the second feature I want to talk about in the communication sub, which is the knowledge base. I'm going to present it through my phone. So I'm going to go back to my phone again, right here. And I'm going to go to my assets all the way at the bottom to go to the knowledge base feature. And I'm going to click on it. So, to, so those of you who don't know, because this is a relatively new feature, the knowledge base is the feature that can help you organize all your company uh, policies, documents, files in a very organized manner. You can uh, uh, create different folders and it's going to be accessible to the employees that you choose on the go. So you can easily share files that don't have to download anything anymore and so on. What we've done now, you can see I have uh, uh, folders here with different files. So we've added, first of all, a nice search capability. It's actually pretty powerful. I can search for words that appear in uh, specific files or documents uh, uh, text, uh, 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 titles, sorry, or within the file itself. So if it's a document or a PDF and it's inside, meaning it's a word that's written within the document, I will also be able to find it. So for example, I'm going to look for the word salmon. So now you can see that it found the grilled salmon recipe that I've added to my knowledge base. It's right here. If I click on it, I can see the steps to make a delicious grilled salmon. It's not really my, my recipe, so please don't uh, take it too seriously. Now, you can also see that I have different steps here. So let's take, for example, step two as the word I want to look for. So if I write step two, it's going to find the same file. Why? Because it has the word step two inside it. If, it. if I had more files with the same word, it would find them too. So while it's very simple, it's pretty powerful. It saves all your, if it saves your employees a lot of time. If you have companies' policies they need to look for, they can easily find them in two seconds. And also even the relevant article or a part within a policy or a contract, all through their phones. So again, very, very efficient. Last but not least with the knowledge base, I'm going to click again on my recipe. So now you can actually swipe through and move between different files. So you can see that I can move around with the buttons right here and again, easily, uh, easily navigate 
between the different features, uh, sorry, between the different documents within the knowledge base. Okay, guys, thank you for your patience. Moving on now. And now I'm going to touch our new and uh, pretty great uh, HR Hub. As you know, not only it's new, most of its features are also new. And I'm going to scroll all the way up to in my sidebar, and I'm going to start with the documents feature right here. So for those of you who don't know, the documents feature will help you organize all your employee documents, uh, professional documents that you need to receive from your employees in an organized manner within the platform. So the way it works is you create different packs for documents. You can share those packs with specific employees or groups, and then you create documents within the pack. The packs, the documents that you, that you create will be actually the titles of the columns that you can see here. So it could be licenses, tax forms, contracts, anything you want and can think of. And of course, your employees will be able to view those on the go, upload them on the go, and you can even create your own admin approval process, all dependent on your plan, of course. So a very, very efficient feature. So now what we've done, we made it even more efficient. I'm going to go to a, a title of a specific document, let's say licenses right here, and I'm going to click on the small arrow next to the name right here. So we've added bulk actions to save you time. So you can download, you can now download all the approved documents. You can reset all the statuses for that specific document. And you can even send a notification for all your employees with empty or rejected status to kind of let them know and remind them that you, the company, the manager is waiting for the correct document with mis without mistakes or just the relevant one. Also, you can see here we have different statuses. If I'll click on an example uh, of a pending uh, of a document that's waiting for approval, let's say this one right here, you can see that as a manager, I can approve or reject it. Now, this is a status change. Every time I do that from now on, your um, the relevant employee is going to get an automated uh, notification that a manager changed the status of his document. So that's, again, going to streamline your communication and save you time and therefore hate it, headaches. Last thing about the documents feature, it's, it's now actually also available for your employees on their computers. As you know, in Connect Team, we always work on making more and more uh, features available for your employees on their computers, not just the admins. So this was done to this feature. So that is pretty great. I'm gonna move forward to the next feature in the HR Hub, which is the rewards feature, it's right here. So the rewards feature is a great, great way to show your appreciation to your, uh, uh, to your employees, how much you appreciate their hard work, and of course, engage with them in a better way. Basically what you do, you purchase tokens, which are virtual coins you can purchase from Connecting. You send them to your employees, and your employees will be able to purchase gift cards with them, and then buy actual gifts in the real world. So again, great for engagement and appreciation within the company. So what we've done, I'm going to go to the cards library right here. The first thing that we've done, we've actually added more uh, um, countries this, this feature works in, and we're going to keep on adding more and more countries. All you have to do is just check out the list right here. Another thing that we've added is now if you see all these gift cards here, for every one of those, now the managers within the, your company can actually choose if you want to work with that specific gift card, with that specific company. So this is great if, let's say, for example, there's a competitor of yours here, or you just want to make sure you endorse the companies that you like and not work with the companies that you dislike. So you can now choose the relevant gift cards for your employees. Also, this feature is also available for your employees through their computers now and not only their phones. Moving on to the next feature within the HR Hub is the recognitions feature right here. Like the, like the uh, um, uh, rewards feature, the recognition uh, feature is also aimed at uh, 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 creating more engagement within the company and showing your employees how much you appreciate them just with sending recognitions or badges to the employees, as you can see here, saying great job, uh, uh, employee of the month, and so on. So what we've done, I'm going to go to the badges library. This is where you can see all the badges that we have. Now you can see that we've enha enhanced these badges to make it more engaging. For, so for example, if I hover above these badges, you can see they're animated. So it's again, more, it's even more beautiful now. Also, if you'll notice at the top right of every badge, you have the three dots right here. If I'll click on them, I can actually edit 
badges now, recognitions. Why is this great? Because you can now customize, tailor-made the badges, the recognitions to your business and actually make sure that you're sending the most relevant badges to your employees. All you have to do right here on the left side is choose the name, choose the icon and update the badge and you're ready to go. Most importantly, if I want to send a recognition, all I have to do is go here to the right side, click on send recognition. I'm going to choose an employee, let's say Freddie right here. Click on next step on the bottom right. Choose a relevant badge, let's say well done. Click on the next step. And this is what we've added. Now, you, cannot, you, you can, of course, share the badge with a specific employee that was also available before. But now you can also share the badge with more employees and select who can view the, the badge that you sent to that specific employee. So if Freddie was, let's say, the employee of the month, he was my best uh, construction worker, my best cleaner, my best security guard, and I want to make sure he team, his team knows that, I want to incentivize them, I want to make the, let them know that the, the uh, management can actually uh, 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 um, va values and appreciates uh, what every employee does and kind of incentivize them. So you can select the relevant team, department, the entire company, whatever you choose. So all you have to do is select the viewers, select the relevant ones, and click on next step and send the recognitions, the recognition that that's it. And right here, you can see who can view the exact recognition. This is it for the HR Hub for today. We have one more capability I want to show you. It's an amazing one, but I'm going to give you again a few moments to ask questions before I move forward. Thank you for your patience. Okay, thanks again for your patience. I'm gonna to move to the last uh, capability that we've added uh, uh, that we've added in the past month. And it concerns the smart groups feature, so it's not attached to a specific hub. So I'm gonna to go to my smart groups feature right here on the top left. So what we've added is time-based smart groups or filters. So before we dive in, in case some of you don't use smart groups, what are they? So smart groups is a feature that enables you to segmentize and organize your business to the relevant teams, departments, professional teams and departments, expertise, and so on within the company. And of course, you can then control the content and connecting that each uh, group has. For example, I can choose that a specific group will only get a specific course. So I can choose again the content. I can control the content and the feature access every one of those groups uh, has. So it's very, very powerful. Now what we've done, we've added the way, why are they called smart? Well, because they're based on a filter and every user who, who applies to that filter will be automatically added to the group. If he no longer applies to the filter, he will be automatically removed from the group. That's why they're called smart. Now, the time-based groups are basically based on a time-based filter. No worries, I'm going to give you an example in two seconds. And that's why I like to call them breathing groups because they keep changing according to the relevant time that you look at them. Let's understand through two examples. I've created a group here that is called New Employees Onboarding. If I'll click on it, you can see the filter I've used right here. So I've created a filter that says that these employees' employment start date is the last month. So that's what it means to, uh, 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 to have a time-based filter because it says last month. So today, last month, uh, uh, might, uh, might include a specific user, a few users, uh, and so on. And if I look at the same group in the next month, of course, that's going to change. I'm going to have other people within the group itself. And of course, I have other filter fields today, tomorrow, next quarter, uh, the past few days, and so on. Check it out. We have many, 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 many more. And the options are limitless. So for example, what you can do with such a group, new employees onboarding, for example, if you go to the courses feature that enables you to create trainings for employees, so you can create a new employee onboarding, uh, new employees onboarding, and then publish that specific course to this group, to the new employees onboarding group. This means if you look at it at a certain point of time, some employees are going to have access to it. The employees that joined the company in the last month. A year from now, also all the employees who joined in the last month, which will be completely uh, different employees, of course, will, be, will have access to the relevant course. So what this does is actually, uh, it makes sure that all your relevant employees have the relevant content available to them immediately and avoid spamming your more senior uh, uh, employees, for example, if you don't want them to have all these irrelevant courses that they probably already did in, on their onboarding. One more example is their birthday uh, today. 
So the birthday is today group shows me all my employees in the company that actually have a birthday today, not yesterday, not tomorrow. So I can use this. First of all, I now know who has a birthday today very easily. I can call them and say happy birthday and be a better boss. I can also use the platform to, to help me with that. For example, if I use an update, a recurring update that will be sent every day to whoever has a birthday because I'm going to publish that specific update to this specific group. So everybody who has a birthday today will get the update that says, hey, happy birthday. Thank you so much for being a part of our company. Tomorrow, a completely different person that has a birthday tomorrow will get the same uh, update. So you don't spam uh, 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 other employees. Uh, uh, um, and you also can make sure that you say uh, happy birthday to everybody um, automatically, which is pretty great. Now, again, these are just examples. Check out the filters that we have. They're amazing. And also we have many, many, many options. Perfect. Now we're done for today with presenting our new features. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, we really appreciate you guys coming. We can send the recordings, of course.